where's your shortfall and how can we cover that with another source of lifetime income like social security and the pension so when pension and social security has a shortfall between what's coming in on a monthly basis and what you need for cover to cover all your need for expenses that's a great place for an annuity that's what an annuity does it's basically like another pension like income that you can put in place to secure your retirement. And so when I say pension like, what I mean is it's going to create an income for you that will pay you every month as long as you live, even if the account runs out of money, it's still going to continue to pay. So you can do that with specific types of annuities. Now, not all annuities do that. And so what you really need to have is some type of what's called lifetime income rider or you can also annuitize the asset and here's the key differences if you put a lifetime income rider on an annuity what it says is you will control the annuity you can take additional withdrawals from the annuity there is a death benefit of the annuity for the money you don't use but we're going to provide a lifetime income generally you pay a fee for it not always sometimes you can have that rider with no charges uh, for it. But again, you get what you pay for. So if you want more of a higher cash flow or more of a um, increase for the potential of future lifetime income, then you can elect to have a fee and you can pay to have your annuity increase for the purpose of you taking more money at certain durations of time. So anybody who has a pension knows when you go to elect your pension, there's different choices. And so you can pick at different ages how you want to set that pension up. Annuities offer similar choices in the, in the sense that you can defer it for certain years. So there's deferred income annuities. You put this lifetime income rider on and what that says is, hey, I have this, this bucket of money and I'm going to buy this rider to have the money increase for the purpose of taking income over a certain duration of time. And then when I opt to elect it, it will kick in a payment just like my pension that's going to pay me forever, even as we spend through all the money in the annuity. So that's that's using a lifetime income rider. You could annuitize the asset, which is irre irrevocable. Um, generally and not always, but sometimes you can get a higher payment by doing so. And what that says is, Hey, you're not, you're going to give up your ability to change your mind, take additional withdrawals. You may or may not have elected a death benefit for the remaining money, but you're going to be able to create a lifetime income. That used to be how everybody would take lifetime income from annuities, but that has changed. Now you can just have a rider so you can have a little bit more flexibility and control over the remainder of the principal in that annuity. So for her, what we did was we said, okay. Where's our shortfall and how much could we put into a lifetime income annuity to get us as close to meeting that need as possible? And so in this exact scenario, we went to the uh, retirement account. She had a portion of money in a money market and we were able to do a rollover from the retirement account to an individual retirement account, an IRA. So what that does is that says, okay, it's in this, and I always describe these like buckets. So people always get confused between IRA, Roth IRA, 403B, 401k, 457, Roth 401k, right? Think of it like a bucket, okay? You have this bucket and the bucket is really the IRA. And the way it works is as long as what you, and you can put whatever account you want in there. You can put an investment in there. You can put an annuity in there. You could put a bank CD in there. It doesn't matter. She had a money market. But what it says is as long as it's in the bucket, it won't be taxed. When you dip your hand in the bucket and pull some out, the IRS has their hand there too. And they're like, give me my cut now. I want, I want my portion. That's when it becomes taxable. Um, that's what the traditional options, 401k IRA. So she had a traditional 403b that was all pre-tax. And we were able to do a partial rollover to an IRA and that does not incur any tax because we rolled it over. So she doesn't have to pay tax on it all at once. We can elect to put it in an annuity and that annuity will, will be able to build up a benefit base, which is how they calculate your lifetime income for durations of time. So we were able to really increase a lot of cash flow for her, uh, when the family member might stop paying, or maybe when she gets to a point say like 73 or 75 when she just doesn't want to or can't do the part-time work anymore that's when the annuity can kick in to start to replace a portion of that income got it